Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard Startup Trial Deck opening. These are the six new trial decks that we got for the introduction for the Cardfight Vanguard Divines series, introducing the Energy Charge and Energy Blast mechanics to the Cardfight Vanguard card game. A really awesome mechanic that just helps with consistency, with draw power, and also a bunch of new card abilities that we were getting for the game. So they gave us these six new trial decks which basically are just start decks they have no card effects for a good majority of the cards aside from the new grade threes and the sentinels that you get but you also get a new play set of triggers which are very very cool as well plus the energy generator which you'll need for the new play style in the game and also the chance to get a promo pack with two cards in it one being a potential new sentinel or the elementaria sanctitude and then the other one being a, an ability trigger uh, i think it ranges from the critical the front trigger and then also the draw trigger so just added support for all of these decks as well but i figured i'd open up all of the decks on camera for you just to see what we can pull so we'll go ahead and we will zoom in the camera a bit so we can focus on each deck one at a time. So we'll go ahead and start off with the first one. We'll go right in order for each one. So starting off with the Dragon Empire deck as I shake the camera stand, but hopefully these open up pretty well. You get the makeshift deck box, very similar to the Leonorn and the Youth Burke decks as well. But also, I believe these also come with card sleeves, which those ones did not. So 58 sleeves in each packet as well, so very, very nice also. We'll see what we get with each deck. It looks like we have the little markers. This is the energy generator marker, which we will get actual cards, which you can stack on top of the energy generator in the booster packs, but for the time being, you can use these little markers with the energy generators, which I believe are included with the deck as well. We have the rule book also. Or, oh, looks like a playmat. Because these are meant to be more or less, you know, introductory uh, decks for people looking to start the game. So they're not too complicated with card abilities either. But we'll see. I didn't see the promo pack anywhere unless they're just included, you know, at the end of the deck. I guess we'll see. Starting off with the Dragon Empire, we have Roaring Thunder Dragon, Triumph Dragon. So they all have the Counter Blast 1 once per turn to search your deck for up to one card with the same name as this unit. So you can be able to consistently Persona Ride. So we have what looks to be the two normal copies here. And then it has the Energy Blast 4 ability. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards, retire. And this unit gets plus 5,000, critical plus 1. So pretty simplistic card abilities for these decks. We also have a... Quades Dragon, two copies. The rest of the cards, as I said, are uh, vanilla, no ability cards, but they will have some of these cards available with abilities in the upcoming Faded Clash booster set. So we have two copies of Stealth Rogue Sword, Kagechi, two Crushing Dragons, Spinal Saltar, two copies, or three it looks like, of Elec Blow Dragon, Stealth Dragon, Kudamen Busubi, for our other good one. Like I said, a good number of these have abilities, just not in the set. Iron Ball Dragon Ankle Bower was a reprinted grade one. And here is our Sentinels, which do have abilities, so you at least know how the Sentinels work. We have three copies here. And then the Rogue Beast Sunogusori, which are the new uh, triggers, which are very nice as well. We have three here, two copies here, three copies of the new front, and it looks to be three copies of the heel. And I believe, yeah, they have these marks here for some of the cards. So I guess you might have to buy a second deck if you didn't want, you know, additional copies with these marks here because we have this and our ride deck cards as well. So you have the starter and none of them have the abilities either. You have to get these from the actual booster set also, but still just more ways to, you know, show how the decks work and how you go from the ride deck all the way up through the ride line. Then we have Drag Ritter Yumna with the same numbers uh, for each explanation for the cards as well. And then we have an additional copy having the same numbered spot for the cards as well in the deck. And the same goes for the triggers as well. So yeah, I'm guessing if you don't want to have these little marks on each of them, you'll have to pick up an additional deck just clear of the little number markers here. You can see them on all the additional cards that they placed throughout the pack as well. Just so you can have the named numbers, I believe, for each one as well. 
for their different cards. And then these look to be the two inserted promo cards. Here is the energy generator. So this, you it goes into the ride deck. And when you ride, you put this card into your crest zone. If you went second, you energy charge three. So then you would take the energy charger the energy counter here, which you can also use to keep track with the little marker, and you'll just go up energy each turn. So then with each energy placed, I can go ahead and try and remove this one out of the uh, marker. So you'll start off with no energy if you go first. If you went second, you energy charge three, moving to three. So then to use your counter abilities, you will you know, have your triumph dragon here, and then you just need to be at four energy, which each turn before your ride phase, you'll put on three additional energy. And then just to use the energy, you energy blast four. So to energy blast four, let's say you're at six, energy blast four will put you down to two, and then you can use the card's ability. It's pretty simplistic, but still a very awesome mechanic, I would say, to add just to help with draw power and other card abilities in the game. And then our final two promos, so our first one, is Guardian Monk of Raging Flames Manju. This is one of the new Dragon Empire Sentinels. So it could either be one of the new Sentinels from Faded Clash or the Elementaria Sanctitude included with each deck. And our trigger is Blaze Maiden Parama. Very funny to see a common version of this card, but still I would say nice additions to each one of the decks for sure. Along with the cards, we have the Energy Generator and the Packet of Sleeves to fully sleeve out your deck as well because they are advertising sleeves in the new anime series as well, so they might as well give us some sleeve copies. On to the second deck. We had more of a pretty basic introduction for everything for the first trial deck, so we'll just go through what you can get with each one of these trial decks as well. It should basically be the same for all of them. We have the sleeves here for the Dark States one this time around and the same markers and then with each one the little packet for the deck which could technically count as a deck box as well but let's go ahead and open up the actual deck itself this time so now we know that the numbered markers are at the end we have cruel beast demonic lord a Solargus for dark states with a energy charge or energy blast four choose a great three or less card from your soul call it to rear and it gets plus 10 so once again a pretty simplistic effect with the persona ride search and then we have the two copies here the dial adjust dragon for our grade threes the battle hour rupture colossus full pigment dragon Icicle Ein Iser for our three of. Uh, Cyan Kongan Mato, Keen Prodigy Yuxin. The Fugress, which I believe was a ring printed card. Here is our Sentinels, three normal copies. And then our Triggers Direful Doll Bethany, three copies. Buoyancy Floater. Leaping Gear Links, three copies. And then the three normal copies of Joyful Songster. Here's the one with the marker for the position in the ride deck, along with Steam Trimmer Nebu Kadar, featuring Balancer and Cavity Maligia. And then for the additional numbered copies, we have the full pigment dragon and all the additional cards as well, including the triggers and the sentinels, since these are meant to be more or less, you know, introductory decks meant to explain the game to people as well. But we do get the other energy generator and the energy counter with our two promos this time being Ridicule Disruptor. And we have the front trigger again this time, Diablos Girls Natalia. So the same lineup as the last deck for the Dark States one this time. And on to the next one. As I said, we're going right down the lineup. So this is Startup Trial Deck 3 for Brantgate this time around. Another box with the triggers and whatnot. Here are the sleeves. And then the actual deck itself. So much plastic to go through also. And so much to organize afterwards. So we have Blitz Gigamobile Aster. So we have the two copies here without the marks. Steel Ball Dragon, David Dragon, Compound Genius Girl, maybe, Singer Razor, Jeweled Combination, Julian, it's a pretty awesome looking card there, three copies, uh, Conformal Transformation Haste, Blitz Chaser Lafon, Smirk Wonder, here's Craggy Monster Gergrand for the Monster Sentinel, Blitz Pilot, Jacked, a lot of these I feel would look really, really nice in Welstra, uh, Blitz Designer, Cleave, 
Blitz Sales, Cleave, and Blitz Doctor. Gasun, three copies, and then we have the marker options as well, which if you didn't see beforehand, as Sturm, you use an energy blast of four, choose one of your rear guards, stand it until end of turn. With that unit attack, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. So just more, when this one attacks, you have an additional attack for one of your rear guards. So pretty awesome. Then going through all the other copies of the cards with the numbers on them. And then we have the, once again, the energy generator and the counter with our cards this time around being Strong Arm Conversion, Struggle Mars, and we have a draw trigger this time around, Ameliorate Connector. So that is deck number three, deck number four, as soon as I organize these cards in the pile. Deck number four is the Keter Sanctuary one. So let's go ahead, see if we can successfully open this one, and go through all the cards you get with this trial deck. So once again, these sleeves. And these were pretty affordable being, you know, start decks. I was able to get them for a pretty good price as well. But let's see, we have Salvation Wing Angel, Sarah Vassiel, which we are getting support for all of these decks in Faded Clash as well. Cards that weren't included in the start decks, but, you know, cards that can be used specifically for all these decks. Having the search power with Seraph Vassiel and on Vanguard, when this unit attacks Vanguard, Energy Blast 4, choose a grade 3 or less normal unit from your drop and call it to rearguard and it gets plus 10. So more or less a drop zone ability with this one. So we have the two copies here, Bright Glass Dragon, Tolerance Wind, Resurgent Dragon, Knight of Parkings, three copies, Medical Shot Angel, three copies, Nobile of Glittering Staff Sia, Shadow Bow Archer Lisana, the Life Saving Angel Karabiel, uh, Shavomia for the critical, which I do like a lot of these triggers. I can't wait to use them in Raziel as well. Knight of Pressing, Connell, and also Bringer of Distant Sounds, Aranis. For the heal, we have the additional ride deck options here. Knight of Calming Silence, Caring Sage, and Knight of Aspiration, Soul. We have Noble of Glittering Staff, Sia. Here are the additional countered copies as well to have the explanation of numbers. I believe you can look back to the guidebook with these cards. I may be wrong, but that, I believe, is why they would have the numbers on them. And then we have, once again, the energy generator and the energy counter. And for our next ones, all right, so we pulled a copy of Elementaria Sanctitude this time. Awesome. And we have a draw trigger as well, Perobi, one of the more better cards. So I'd say from a trial deck, those are two very good pulls with two trial decks left to open. Next up, we have Stoikea. So if we can successfully open this, let's see. Chaos leaves this time, and what definitely looks like an Aqua Force unit is Marine General of the Great Sea, Christianos. For this one, there's a lot of plastic and everything everywhere, but we'll open this final trial deck. And then I can, not final, there's one more, the Lyrical Monstera one after this one. So with this one, Christianos having the same surge effect in an Energy Blast 4, discard the top two cards of your deck, shoot up to two grade three or less units from your drop and call them to rear. So pretty standard, two copies there. The two copies of Flood Raid Dragon, Concealing Archer, Charesis, Battle Siren, Falasha, Seizing Slash Mutant, Brew Slash, three copies, Scissors Scorpio, three copies, Sunbathing Dragon, Lively Rhythm Biara, Hopeful Maiden, Alejandra, for our Sentinel. We have Peppery Pepper for our Critical. Satisfying Harvest, Rabbi Ritz for our Draw. Poetic Maiden, Saphira. Cheery Support Elf, three copies. Then the Ride Deck options with Var Variety Feast Dragon. Knowledge Seeking Strawberry, Strabera. And Disastrous Slurper, which will be the starter for the Zorga deck. Sunbathing Dragon and all the other cards with the numbered explanations on them also for this pack. And then we have the energy generator once again with our two this time being Honeycomb Thyrus and the critical Aspiring Maiden Alana. So on to the final deck which is the Lyrical Monasterio which I do love that they're including Lyrical Monasterio with the actual 
anime now as well. So you can see it in the anime. Chris Rain definitely does look like a lot of fun. Maybe one of the divine skill decks that I want to build. Here are our sleeves. And then for the actual deck itself. We have Love Call Marlene. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, Energy Blast 4, choose one of your rear guards, return to hand. Choose up to one grade three LS unit card from your hand, call to an open rear guard, and it gets plus 10. So a lot of these just seem to have the multiple attack option with the other ones being Perfect Mentelli and Driana. Flowerbed Salen, Playful Scribbing Seer, Negligent Carelessness Liqueurs, Theater Lesson Lafferty, Hasty Loafer Nina, Lyrical Flower Resacher, The Sentinel Earnest Twist Hanail, three copies, and then our criticals being Cheerful Sunshine Wallace, Breezing Score Rion, Forward Wheel Theoretta, Talkative Hour Ton Moose, and then the Ride Deck with the Louise Lorca and her soul with the additional copies with the number markers. And then for our last spot, we have the energy generator and we have best served hot warmia and the front trigger, snow skip pal v. So we only managed to pull one of the elementary sanctitude, but better than none. But this was just meant to be a quick look at all the many different decks that will be making use of the energy generator along with the new ones we will have from the faded clash set. But I hope you all enjoyed the opening. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and Kira Qualia out.